friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mansa, and in today's video, we're gonna be making a simple gingerbread bundt cake with a very delicious and simple lemon glaze. I'm gonna be using a box cake mix to make this recipe super, super simple, but trust me, it's gonna be super delicious. So let's get started. Okay, friends, so here we are. I have a large bowl, and this is the box cake we're gonna be using today. It's gonna be Barry Crocker, so we're not doing Duncan Hines. I actually like this brand when it comes to this particular mix, and it has the instructions on the back as well. Now, it requests for one egg, and I am sticking with one egg. I found that the Betty Crocker formula is a little light, so when you add um, that extra egg, it usually does not come out right, in my opinion. So I'm just sticking to that one egg, and it's gonna be super moist. It also requests for one and one fourth cups of water, but we already know we're not doing that. So I'm doing one and one fourth cups, same amount of whole milk. If you have buttermilk, use that. Now, this is me adding this totally. I have here one fourth cup of unsalted butter. This is my Kerrygold butter. And I'm also going to be adding about a teaspoon of a vanilla extract. So those two are not even part of the formula at all. Just remember not to use water. You can use milk or buttermilk, but just not water. So I'm going in with my mixer to just blend in my wet ingredients. And um, once we get our wet ingredients all incorporated, I would now sift in my cake mix, right? So I'm just running it through my sifter just to get rid of the extra lumps and make my mixing process a whole lot easier. But of course, once I get to the bottom, I'm just gonna dump out all of it into my mixture. If you notice, I'm also not using a pudding mix. Guys, I, I test this recipes behind the scenes so you guys don't make the mistake. I added a pudding mix once and epic fail. It did not work. All, all um, formulas are made different. Duncan Hines is a totally different brand, but in my opinion, it's more versatile. It's easier for me to work with and jazz it up. Anyway, to talk about jazzing it up, since it's gingerbread, I'm gonna be adding my organic ground ginger here. You need a good, maybe half a tablespoon of the ground ginger, and I'm going in with a little bit of ground cinnamon. Of course, all the ingredients I use today and the measurements will be listed in the description box below. So feel free to check it out. Click anywhere on the title of the video and um, a text box will collapse with links on everything. That is the description box. That's where I would link st um, stuff that I use on my channel and also the recipe as well. So going in with a mixer, I am beating it on um, low speed for the first 30 seconds and then I'll bump it up on medium high. Remember to scrape down the sides of your bowl and then beat it for an additional two minutes and that'll be it. This batter is so light. It's super, super light. Really different from my Duncan Hines uh, formulas. Now, if you're familiar with Mansa, you know I am big on zesting. So yes, honey, we're gonna zest up this baby with one lemon. Remember to wash your lemon really good and then zest it up to your heart's desire. This right here will elevate your cake from 70 to 100 instantly. Instantly, it adds so much freshness. Zest is actually where most of the flavor is in a lemon. So that's what I'm using. And do not forget, don't waste the lemon, just leave it on the side because we're gonna be using it later in this video. So once I get all of my zest in, I am just going in with my spatula, not the mixer, we're done mixing, just fold it in the batter with your spatula, you do not wanna over mix at this point. And also my oven, I've already set it and it's preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Since this is a bundt cake, I am using my Nordic Ware um, bundt pan and this one is so so beautiful i think this is a 10 cup it's a smaller pan so it's perfect for this i'm gonna go in with my pan baking spray to, to um reinforce it that way my cake comes out looking nice and clean make sure you get into all those ridges bundt pans can be hard to work with if you don't have a good quality pan and if you do not grease it really good so yeah once i get that all greased up i am going to pour in the batter in my prepared pan if you're still watching this video, that means you like what you see. So I would suggest go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It's a great way of supporting me as the creator um, for this channel. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe 
to the channel for more recipes like this. And of course, we're gonna pop it, drop it, and then we're gonna bake today 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 40 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. In the meantime, we're gonna be making a very super, super simple glaze. In this cup, I have one and one fourth cups of powdered sugar already sifted. And to that, I am gonna be adding some um, butter. This is just one tablespoon of salted butter that I already melted and it's a room temperature. It's gonna add a really nice thickness and the butter just works really good with gingerbread. Now, this is the lemon that we used for the zest and I squeezed it out and I am gonna be using the freshly squeezed juice for our glaze. Super simple, super easy, and it's gonna add a whole bunch of freshness. I ended up using three tablespoons of um, the lemon juice. If you do not have the fresh lemon juice, then you can substitute with the store bud, but I highly recommend for best results, get just get a lemon, just one lemon will be okay, squeeze it out and you should be able to get um, your freshly squeezed lemon juice. Just go ahead and combine that, that is all you need. Some sugar, some melted butter, and some fresh lemon juice. Mix it to incorporate everything to avoid any lumps. And just like that, you have made yourself a really delicious glaze. This glaze, by the way, goes with a whole bunch of recipes. And by the way, I also have a gingerbread loaf cake on this channel. I would link it in the description box below in case you guys wanna check it out. It's different from this. I actually did not use any eggs in that recipe. So feel free to check it out if you just want some variety, all right? So this is our prepared glaze. We're gonna set it aside. And in the meantime, my oh, my cake is out of the oven looking nice and so perfect. It is so super light and airy and so moist. Now it is really hot, of course. We're gonna set it down and I would let it chill in the pan for at least 20 minutes before inverting it to let it cool down some more. So it's been about um, 15, 20 minutes and my pan is a little cooler to the touch, so now it is safe to invert it. I don't, I do not like to disturb my cakes when they first come out of the oven because remember, it is still cooking. The cooking process is still going on. So yeah, once I flip it out, I grease my pan really good, so this comes out so nice and clean. And once I let my cake cool down completely, it is now time to pour our glaze. So since I use this pan with the really deep ridges, I'm just pouring the glaze into the ridges, as you can see. That's all I'm doing here. If you're just using a regular bun pan, you could just go ahead and, and drizzle it all over. It does not really matter. I was just using this more for aesthetics than anything else. That's it. It's just a nice, thick, pourable glaze, and that is it. Once you pour that in, let the cake sit for an additional 15 to 20 minutes so that the um, the glaze can set a little bit. And that will be it. You could be ready to cut into it and enjoy. It is so delicious, I promise you. It is the season for all of this, those warm, hearty flavors. I love them so, so much. Look at the way I am cutting into it. Like I say, do you see that bounce? Do you see the bounce? I love it. It is so, so soft, super moist, and delicious with just one egg. I love the Betty Crocker um, gingerbread mix a whole lot. It is perfect for this recipe, and I really hope you guys get to try it out. If you do, let me know. Feel free to tag me on Instagram or Facebook. My handle is Mansa Queen. As you can see, we're doing the fork test and I did the taste test on your behalf and it was delightful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Happy holidays. Stay safe with your families. Feel free to share my videos as well and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye y'all.